I can't emphasize this one enough. This has carried me through more challenging seasons. When I have no idea what God is doing, I focus on what he's like. I focus on the fact that God is good. And I've shared this prayer with you so many times, but you get to hear it again. In those times, my favorite decree, or one of them, is, God, I know you are good, and I declare the fullness of your goodness into all that I'm facing and all that I'm dealing with, and I thank you that you are well able and more than willing to bring about the very best results from these current set of circumstances because you are good. And you're thinking, what... What does it matter if I remember God is good when everything's challenging? Because when we know God is good, we'll expect his goodness even when nothing looks or feels good. I looked at the story of the woman with the issue of blood, 16 years. She's weaker than ever, sicker than ever, has nothing left, no finances left. And yet when we read about that, I love that it says she presses through the crowd. Now think about this, 16 years of a debilitating affliction. I had one for 12 years. I couldn't stand up in the shower most days. It was a big deal for me to get down all the way down the street to get my mail out of the box. And I've told you this, when I did that, sometimes I'd be sick in bed for two or three days afterwards. This woman, 16 years, and she has to press through a crowd. I believe she had a revelation of the goodness of God, and that's what fueled her. Why? Because if she didn't, when she got there, she'd probably be murmuring and complaining, really, Lord, everything I've been through, the little bit of strength I have, I got to this point, and you couldn't open away from me? There's a crowd? Are you serious? Don't you love me? Where are you for me, Jesus? Where are you for me, Jesus? But she presses through the crowd. I don't know how long it took her. I don't know how hard it was. But I know there are times I have to press through the crowd of fear, frustration, doubt, discouragement, self-pity. you got to press through that crowd. And this is why I believe it was because she knew God was good in the midst of nothing feeling, looking, or seeming good. Because when she grabbed hold of him, in one translation, it's my favorite, the King James, it says, let me see if I can find it. This is Mark 5. Jesus immediately, knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned and said, who touched me? And the disciples said, are you kidding me? Everybody. He's like, no, 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 something's different. Something grabbed hold of me, and I felt virtue go out of me. And he turned, and he sees the woman. He says, it was you. I can tell. And she's like, am I in trouble? And he says, your faith has made you well. The reason that's my favorite translation is most translations say he feels power go forth. And his virtue is power. But I love that the King James highlights virtue because virtue is goodness. This woman had a revelation of the goodness of God when nothing looked good, felt good, or seemed good. And she pressed through knowing he's good, he's good, he's good. This all stinks, but he's good, he's good. I'm gonna see his goodness. I'm gonna grab hold of his goodness. I'm gonna get his goodness. He is good, he is good, he is good. And she grabbed hold of him in her faith, not his power, her faith in his goodness that brought forth virtue, made her well. I am telling you, if you can declare nothing else in the midst of the battle, declare, God, you are good. I used to take my weak little fist. I could barely have the strength to make a fist. And this pathetic, I'd be on my knees on the floor weeping over how frustrated and afraid I was that I'd never have the strength to walk in what I was created for. But I'd take my fist by the grace of God and this pathetic, mewling little prayer would come out of me. God, you're good. Even in this, you're good. Even in this, you're good. I'd be bawling like a baby, but say, I'm not budging from the truth that you're good, God. Nothing looks good. Nothing feels good. Nothing seems good. But you are good. And we will see his goodness. All right. Ready for more? Go to roberthodgkin.com for more teachings, more resources, and more information about Robert Hodgkin Ministries and Men on the Front Lines.